guys, it is Saturday, September 1st. It's 10 something in the morning and we are disassembling the computer workstations in both offices, the entertainment center, packing it all up and getting ready for the movers to show up on Tuesday. It's crunch time. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's see how it goes. So as you just saw, we went out to lunch. We took my cousin to lunch. She came over and helped us do the rest of the major packing that we need to do in the prep before the movers come on the 4th. And so we have now no TV. The husband locked himself out in the garage. Hold on. Anyway, so my office is now gone and packed. We only have one little workstation out for my husband. He's kind of on call the next few days for his job and his office is equally as bare of equipment and empty desks and just full of boxes so this is all stuff that we are taking the movers are not taking so we're gonna just be able to once they get the desks out we can just shut the door and um, they can pack up the rest of the house basically so we're good to go <laughs> all right that's it for the moment. I'm gonna go sit and have some tea and all Okay, I'm gonna refilm this bit because I had Jeeves on and he was just driving me crazy, talking every two seconds. Um, I just dropped my husband off at the airport. It is Sunday morning, September 2nd, and um, he is headed to Southern California for a family wedding overnight. He'll be back tomorrow. I'm staying home because we have a lot to do to get ready for the movers to come pack the rest, the main part of the house on, oop, on Tuesday. So I'm going to be getting the house ready. I have to clean out the refrigerator. I need to stage parts of the house, um, move things around that I don't want them to put on the moving truck, make sure they're tucked away, stuff like that. Um, I have to run a couple errands on the way home before I do all of that. So I am going to um, stop by Walmart, I think, on the way home because it's kind of early. And um, I don't think it, a lot of other places are open yet. I don't really, what I want is probably not at Target. So 
uh, I found a random ball of cotton yarn and a crochet hook in some stuff I was packing yesterday and I decided to sit and just start crocheting a circle and I crocheted the whole ball I got a pretty decent sized circle about 12 inches across and I'm going to go pick up another random ball or two of cotton yarn and then just keep going and I want to do like a circle afghan so um, or a circle blanket so I am going to do that and I'm just going to I know there's some cotton yarn in my stash that's packed so at some point when I find it I'll just keep crocheting on this circle until it's either big enough or I run out of yarn and or I'm just tired of it and I want to stop um, I also have to like clean out the refrigerator and throw a bunch of stuff out and stuff like that so I'm really tired I'm not I'm t to the crunch part the last couple of days where I'm not sleeping and my face is broken out I'm having you know the stress is getting to me it's not that I'm not happy about the move the new house is gorgeous I think we're gonna like the new neighborhood um, but you know you get nervous about it when you're doing a big move like this and I'm having nightmares about getting up there to take the driving test and failing the driving test and not getting a license and being able to drive my car um, getting up there and moving into the new house and hating it like it, they're not necessarily reasonable um, thoughts but you know I'm just stressed out and they're uh, just a product of my stress so and there's that and you know this is also a product of stress <sighs> anyway <sighs> let's go over to Walmart not my favorite store but sometimes you just have to so we are going to head there and be the last time I go to Walmart in California. These are my keys. Sorry. You always hear that clunking noise on the vlog? It's my car keys. I'll be bringing you all on the road trip north when I'm driving. Um, I will be vlogging um, on the way. Not the whole way, because hello. But I'll be drive, uh, vlogging on part of parts of the drive, and um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I haven't done a long drive like that by myself in quite a while, so it'll be interesting. But at least I figured out the cruise control; otherwise, I'd be in big trouble. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I cleaned out the fridge to get ready for the move. There's not much food left in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a few things in here we're gonna try to eat up when my husband gets back um, for dinner, but yeah, there's not really anything I'm gonna be able to eat for lunch. So I guess I'm headed to the store. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy too much, just enough for the one meal. All right, that's it. I'll Morning everybody. It's just after nine o'clock on, what day is it? Monday, September 3rd. I've already had a flurry of text messages and emails. The packer, the moving company is here tomorrow to pack up the majority of the house that I have not done, including all the kitchen dishes and china and silverware and furniture and yeah, closets and stuff in the garage and <laughs> anyway, um, I've already packed the things that we're taking with us and that includes the coffee pot. So I, I've had a cup of tea this morning and then that was the last um, dish I'm going to use in the house because I'm um, washing dishes now. So that's it. And then I'll put them away when it's done and then we're ready for the packers to pack it all up tomorrow. I'm going to go out and get some Starbucks and paper plates and that sort of thing too, I guess. I am really opposed to them, but in this instance, when you're moving, they're convenient. And so... Um, it's easier to throw dishes, paper dishes away than it is to wash dishes at the last minute when the movers are trying to pack things. So I guess I'm going to go do that this morning and I'll be back. Okay, so it is um, still the 3rd of September, Monday, and it is 11.43 a.m. 
just before lunch and we are headed to the airport to pick up my sister and then wait around for a little while for my husband who got his flight times completely wrong. Um, yeah. All I can say is that what's going on with us and our lives right now has gotten us completely stressed out and when my husband messes up his schedule, that's how I know he's stressed out because he doesn't ever do that. So that would be like him getting lost and not knowing what direction he's going in. Because um, he just doesn't do those things. So anyway, we are going to head over to the airport. I'm going to meet her at the coffee stand by baggage claim and I've got my new house notebook and my iPad so um, we can sit and chat. I don't probably need any more caffeine today. I've had two giant 20 ounce cups of black tea and I've had two giant grande size Starbucks cups of drip coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so I probably don't need any more caffeine. I think I'll just get a bottle of water. Anyway, we are going to head over to the airport, and uh, yeah, while I'm doing that, I've got the last load of dishes working, the last couple of loads of laundry working at the San Jose house, and I'm waiting to hear about getting the keys for the new house, and arranging meetings with the San Jose Realtor tomorrow. I've got to make notes in my notebook when we get there. When I get when we get there, when I get to the airport, um, yeah. So it's a busy, busy, busy day. The next three or four days are going to be like this. So, yep, I'll be back. Early morning coffee run before the movers get here. Yeah, it's only 6:38 in the morning. <laughs> oh boy. Good morning, everybody. I don't know what time it is. 6.50 in the morning, September 5th. My whole house looks like this. Fun, huh? <laughs> anyway, we are getting ready to go head out to go get coffee for everybody and breakfast and pick up a rental truck. And in the meantime, the moving company will be here shortly. That's my sister. Say hi. Hello, world. <laughs> she's my moving coordinator. She's fabulous with moving and purging. And yeah, anyway, she's helping keeping me from going off a cliff. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get the whole house packed up. I'll show you what it's going to be like later, which is going to be funny because basically there's going to be nothing in the house except a couple of air mattresses. Suitcases. And suitcases, yeah. And we're not leaving until tomorrow morning, so that's going to be interesting. So we'll be back after I have some coffee. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, it is um, early evening on September 5th, and my house and art room, this is the art room, it is empty. <laughs> the whole house is empty. We have a few things left out that we're going to need to spend the night. You can see some things behind me, some bedding, but the whole house is empty. We're ready to hit the road tomorrow morning, first thing. We're waiting on one more person to come. I know they were supposed to send a going soon sign when they put the for sale post up and that's the one they sent instead um, anyway we're waiting for one contractor to show up and then after that happens we are out of here to go sit down somewhere that has actual chairs because we don't have any and have some lunch I mean dinner holy cow it's been a long day anyway that's it for the moment I'll be back folks so it's real the house is shut up it's empty it's just after 6 a.m. in the morning you can't see anything out there it's dark let's see there you go and we are out of here and headed off to Oregon Woo!
Hey guys, it's Friday morning, September 6th, no, 7th, sorry. <laughs> still don't, I may be in a new state, but I still don't know what day it is. <laughs> um, we are standing in my new kitchen. Yay! We're in Oregon. I can't believe it. We made it. Woohoo! I'll give you all a tour of the house later. Right now, there's no, literally nothing in it. See? Nothing. <laughs> Most of our stuff's on a truck. We have a few things on a U-Haul, but yeah. No idea when the truck will get here. <laughs> I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It is Saturday morning, September 8th. And yep, we are in the front row of that new house. What will at some point be the new library. There's nothing in it. Nothing but some boxes. <laughs> and a guitar. It has been a tiring, exhausting day. The kids came over and they helped us get the rental truck emptied and get a bunch of stuff upstairs. They're pretty good kids. The rest of our belongings come via moving company, but they don't get here until like Wednesday. So I'll keep you all posted. I'll be back. morning September 8th we're in the new house it's really early in the morning I'm the only one awake big empty house so you know the most stressful part about moving is getting here it's not the unpacking it's not the resetting I actually kind of like that part it's the just the getting here but I'm so glad we did that and then getting your stuff out of the truck and when you get to be a certain age, I don't recommend you do it as a DIY. We did a little bit as a DIY, and we hired out the rest. I'm so glad we did. My new house is twice as big as the old one, and it has the staircase. And we had trouble enough last night getting everything up the stairs that needed to go up there. We wouldn't have been able to do it without my daughter's boyfriend, Polyus. Polyus, we love you. <laughs> Um, he helped us get the bulk of it up the stairs. We wouldn't have been able to do that without him. It would have been sitting in the garage um, until we got hired help to come help us because we barely got it off the truck. But let me walk you up the stairs and show you around. This will be the new art room space. And how fabulous is it? Literally three times the size of the old space. And here's my view of the forest out of the window. It's just gorgeous. Love it. Hey everyone, it has been an interesting event filled week. Oh boy. Um, with um, a fun um, dinner with friends, you just saw some pictures. Uh, not friends, sorry, family. <laughs> a friendly family? Anyway, we, they've all helped us or are going to help us a whole lot with the move. Um, we're going to be um, hopefully getting the truck delivered sometime this next week, and they're going to all help us unpack. Yes, I'm going to need help. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we actually did it. The red wall's gone. Yay. Um, he's going to come back today and paint this. Uh, the green that I want it to be painted, and also the wall in the bedroom. We already found a gardener. He's going to come take care of the yard. 
and um, trim the huge trees that are adjacent to our house and he also will clean out the roof and the gutters so it's all good he's a seems like a good guy um, we've already found some really great surface people so yay anyway that's it I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog and the series and that you continue to do so and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself do something nice for someone else and have a great day I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.